This book is a little more advanced than a lot of the other books. It's called Foundations of Modern Analysis. And when I say that, I, I say it's, it's more advanced than other analysis books because this is meant for graduate students. So this is not like uh, you know, your first course in advanced calculus type book. Um, let me just show you the content so you see what I mean. It's a Dover book, by the way, so it's super inexpensive. Um, that's probably why I bought it. Copyright 1970 and 82. So the 82 one is probably the Dover edition. Oh yeah, the first the Dover edition first published in 82. Yep. And here it tells you uh, what the audience is. It says uh, this book is aimed to serve as a first year graduate course in modern analysis. So this is a great resource for someone who is taking analysis because this book is super inexpensive compared to most analysis books. Most analysis books are, are quite expensive. Um, you know, big thick textbooks. They cost quite a bit when it comes to analysis, so this is definitely a must-have for anyone wanting to learn analysis. It just gives you uh, different explanations, and even if it's not perfect, it's certainly better than nothing. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. So metric spaces, elements of functional analysis and Bonnock spaces, a lot of big theorems there, completely continuous operators, Hilbert spaces, and spectral theory. It starts with rings and algebras right away, right? Um, so, yeah, ideally you, you've, you know, you've had some mathematics, you've had some analysis, you've had some abstract algebra, some topology. Um, you, you know how to read mathematics and hopefully you're decent at learning new mathematics. The person who um, had this book before me, you can see they worked through it uh, pretty intensely here. You can see all the writing here. And then it kind of thins out right over here. And then it picks up again. I believe when they start metric spaces. What was that? I thought I saw it when they, yeah, there's some more writing here. Complete metric spaces. Here we go. LP spaces. You see some work here. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, this is a book that you can use, though, to learn measure theory, though, right? So it's uh, a, a good resource, and it's a Dover book. So that means it's affordable. So I think that's the biggest things about this book. Um, is it the best book on measure theory and analysis? I don't know. It's a book. Um, it's a textbook. It's hard. Uh, it's going to take effort to learn this stuff. It's not easy for anyone to learn this stuff. But by having another resource like this one, I think, um, yeah, this is, this is a gold mine in some sense, right? Because again, um, most measure theory books do cost quite a bit, quite a bit more. Definition of measurable functions. You know, by a measure space, we mean a triple. And then here it gives you all the definitions. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Pretty intense stuff. It's good stuff, though. It's mathematics. Keep doing math.